the long holiday came a little early this year, which means there was a little slowdown in activity. It's gonna look worse than it really was, so be ready. And in this video, we're gonna go over the single family and condo markets in the state of Massachusetts. We'll also do a quick interest rate update and we're gonna talk about some relevant current events. You know how I was talking about it being a little slower of a weekend and all? It might have been slow, but one of my buyers went out in a five multiple offer situation while one of my listings, which has been 105 days on the market, just got an offer. So it's slower because of the holiday, but it isn't slow for this time of the year. I said it last week that there is a huge opportunity for would be spring buyers to get out in front of the spring market. I'm also looking forward to sharing a Yahoo Finance article with you just in a couple of moments. But real quick, first, hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions with regards to real estate, then know I am here to help. Also, as a quick heads up, I'm looking to buy houses. Let me know if there are any houses that you're aware of that will need a lot of tender, loving care. The uglier, then the better. But let's jump into it all and dig into these single family market stats. There are now 2,940 single family houses on the market in the state of Massachusetts. That is down a whopping 29 units from last week and is a 15% decrease in the amount of homes for buyers to look at in just a matter of 28 days. Now, continue to be used to these inventory levels until the end of, well, call it February, halfway through January, and we are 399 units less than the inventory levels in 2023 and 861 more single family homes on the market than the inventory levels back in 2022. Now, we look to be hanging around the 2021 inventory level mark. The takeaway, inventory levels are low and they're going to remain low this year new listing activity came in short of other recent years there are 493 single family homes that came on the market this week now this was 56 or 10.2 percent less units than the same week last year when 549 single family houses came on the market last week was 12 percent less and this week was 10 percent less let's keep an eye on if that becomes a trend now, the four-week rolling average is 325 units, but that data includes the slow last two Christmas and Christmas to New Year weeks with 220 properties and 133 new listings came on the market. Now, under agreement slipped off of last year's pace as well. We had 538 homes go under agreement last week, which was 11.5% or 70 fewer units in the same week last year and 608 single family houses went under agreement. Now that four week rolling average is 444 units. So this is gonna really start ramping up in these coming weeks as we see more and more properties go under agreement. So when compared to last year's market, new listings were down by 10.2%, while under agreements, they were down by 11.5%. There were 394 single family houses that closed last week for an average sales price of $760,000 and a median sales price of $586,000. Sales levels compared to the same week last year were down by 2.5%. Is there are 404 single family houses that sold this week last year for an average sale price of $640,000. And months of inventory. This is how we determine what type of market we're in. Zero to five months, that's considered a seller's market. But the closer you get to zero, well, the more aggressive and the better of a seller's market that it is. Now, this week, months of inventory actually ticked up to 1.2 months from last week's 1.17 months. And the 1.2 months this week is compared to the 1.13 months this week last year. So very similar markets. Real quick, my shameless plug. I just wanted to mention that if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, that it would be a true pleasure to help. Now onto the condo market. We had 1,772 condos on the market as of Monday. This is a one unit increase from last week. So inventory levels, well, they're level. Currently there are 10.6% fewer condos on the market today than just 28 days ago. It looks as if we are really going toe to toe with the inventory levels of 2023. We now have only 32 fewer units on the market today than in 2023 and 313 more units than compared to the inventory levels of 2022. Just like in the single family market, inventory in the condo market is extremely low and it's going to stay that way throughout 2024. New listing activity really fell off a cliff when comparing it to last week when 400 
new condos came on the market, but year over year, it wasn't that bad. There were 318 condos that came on the market last week with a four week rolling average of 184 condos. Now I'm thinking the 64 units that went under agreement during the Christmas week and the 99 units that went under agreement from the Christmas week to New Year's week, right? is really throwing off that four week rolling average stat. With 368 units listed was 18 units or 6% more than those 300 condos that came on the market the same week in 2023. And the condo under agreements put up a good fight against 2023, but just couldn't get over that line and get the job done. This week, we put 281 condos under agreement. Now this 281 units was seven units or 2.4% shy of last year's number when we put 288 condos under agreement. This was an enormous improvement from last week's 30 and a half percent year over year decrease. That was a big decrease. Now that four week rolling average is 207 units. So 6% more listings that came on the market when compared to this week last year, while we sold 2.4% fewer condos. There were 148 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of $664,000 and a median sales price of $489,000. This same week last year, there were 157 condos that sold, so sales levels were down by 5.7%. Months of inventory had a sizable move to 1.76 months from last week's 1.69 months, and this is compared to the months of inventory levels of 1.6 months this week last year. Any chance you could just do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button? It's right down there. Believe it or not, it just makes a huge difference with that YouTube algorithm and helps push the video out to more people. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it as it helps me as, as well as the channel. And while subscribing, that one doesn't hurt either. So if you haven't, please consider subscribing. Time to talk about interest rates because, well, Every week, interest rates are up and down and all over the place. And it was a good week in the sense that rates didn't go up. We saw a little improvement for interest rates this week. And this is good news because they've been slowly climbing, very slowly, but surely climbing in the last couple of weeks. Now, the CPI data came out this week and it was higher than expected. But everything I'm hearing is in regards to the Fed cutting rates in March. It's like they're already celebrating the party. I kind of think it's important to note that the number would be a lot higher if it wasn't for the 2% decrease in the cost of energy. That number is essentially 0.4%, the CPI number that is, is 0.4% when you factor out energy costs. Now, as I mentioned in my predictions video, the Fed painted themselves into a tough spot. They are in election year and will be getting a lot of pressure to cut interest rates by the current administration. But at the same time, the data is not showing that inflation has been stamped out of the economy. Now, my thoughts are that they're going to succumb to lower rates to ensure that we don't go into a recession because that's not a good thing for the current administration. And that is going to keep the inflation flame burning. On that note, be sure to check out my 2024 predictions video that I released last week and be on the lookout for my video that goes over the best and worst performing neighborhoods in Boston for 2023. And here is the Yahoo Finance article that I was talking about earlier. It's not just me saying that this pickup in the marketplace is just in this market. It's all over the country. Man, just the title, it gives me heart complications. Video Wars erupt as 2024 kicks off with some listings seeing over 30 offers. Now, I have not seen that yet. And then they talk more about what we have been saying. Improved mortgage rates means buyers are coming back, and that means more competition. And mortgage applications are up 9.9%, with 6% of that bump coming from purchases. And the article even says that, I quote, for rate-sensitive buyers who have been waiting on the sidelines these first few weeks of the year could offer a window to purchase. And this is actually something that I mentioned in my prediction video. You gotta watch it, I'm telling you. The article says that even though competition has seemingly begun to pick up in some segments of the marketplace, US mortgage rates could be stabilized that momentum. And for the record, I wrote all of this out, this whole video, before I even found this article. But the article then says that both inflation and unemployment readings came in higher than expected in December, indicating that the Federal Reserve may hold off on cutting interest rates. I've been saying it, but I'm going to reiterate it. There is going to be a first to market advantage for spring buyers. If you are a buyer and you're looking to buy in the spring, then push up 
that timeline. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Because at the end of the day, all that matters is, well, your needs, right? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you. Just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know anyone that is thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information and giving me the opportunity to help them. Now, you can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com and find all of my contact information in the description below right down there uh, should you need to reach out to me. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic week and until next time.